We got married November 27, 2011, and, and actually before our wedding day, Keisha came to me and she said, what if we don't get presents? What if we ask our family and friends to support the foundation so that we can start an initiative that will fight against lung cancer? I said, what do you think about that? I said, baby, that sounds like a good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. So our team draft initiative, our, our, with a mission to change the face of lung cancer, was founded on our wedding day, but was inspired and really launched by my wife as a survivor. Keisha was challenging me to do P90X and run a 10K race in basically November of 2010 and looking at me like I was crazy. I, I, I was basically a free agent uh, linebacker. She wants me to run the 10K race with her and, and as a linebacker, is that anything that I want to do? <laughs> Absolutely not. We went short, fast, explosive, but not six some miles. But being a good uh, uh, transplanted Southern man that I am, I was like, no, no. And then eventually, what do you just say? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're going to run them. We're going to run together. So I'm saying that because that's the type of shape my wife was in. 37 years old in amazing shape. And then she just had a little shortness of breath. But my wife knew there was something was wrong. She knew it. something was wrong. And so she called up her primary care doctor. She had a relationship with him. Went in. And the primary care doc, uh, recognizing that something was different. Uh, and then because she was very honest about what was going on, he said, let's get some antibiotics and let's get a chest x-ray. That chest x-ray came back, she had a master level. And so it's the possibility of lung cancer at that moment because there's a nodule. We know that there can be nodules. There can be nodules that aren't cancer. So hopefully it's not. Primary care doctor being an amazing person that he is, he set up a biopsy. That biopsy came December 27, 2010. On that day, we found out that she had cancer. And we understood the most important fact about lung cancer, and that is that anyone can get it. So she went on standard chemo. And people respond differently. Let's just keep it real. People respond differently. Some people respond a lot better than others. Uh, unfortunately for her, she passed a, a year later. So December 27, 2011. The White Room Project was started by these amazing people, Heidi and Pierre Onda, that live in Denver, Colorado. She said, make me a big white ribbon. A big such and such white ribbon. That's what this is right here. This is what this ribbon is made of. Because she wanted to put it on her door. And she was going to put facts in the lawn. And she said, just because the cancer center is not ready, just because organizations might not be ready, that does not mean that I can't bring awareness. As an individual, I can do what I can do. So Heidi sent, the, sent these ribbons out and, and what it's the people to know that here definitely have them, use them to stand up. And then she kept on sending them out as people reached out. She said, if that makes you feel like you're not alone and it empowers you to stand up and share your story, then we will continue to send them out. And so, you know, that if you guys can, can get that, that's not the most sustainable model that everybody calls because 235,000 people get diagnosed every year. Said so they're going to need some help. It couldn't just be that. And so the ribbons that are made here were made uh, down the St. Simons. They were made by a high school sorority, the Pirates of Spanish Maine. And so the White Ribbon Project was about sharing the ribbon. So by sharing the ribbon, the original ribbon, now you can trace it. And then in your community, you get to say, you're not alone. In this community, we get to educate people and love on people. Because that's how it works. It can't be somebody from Denver that says, hey, you're not alone, but then the community's not by it. It has to be authentic and it has to be real. You guys are leading the way in this community. 
I encourage you to continue to fight and continue to move forward. And I'm glad I could be here to help you celebrate the work that you're doing.